This is your prophecy update. Luke chapter 17, verse 29 through 30, Jesus stated, But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Well, this is where Jesus prophesied that the sin of homosexuality would be a prevalent sin in the end time. Well, the World Religion News reports that a Methodist church appoints their first transgender deacon. A newly appointed deacon by the Methodist church is a transgender who neither identifies as a male or a female, identifying with neither genders. M. Barclay goes by the pronoun simply they, because this, the female can't decide whether she's a male or female, so that she wants to be called they. And it's finally reaping the efforts of their 12 years of struggles. Although the Methodist Church has been welcoming to members of the LGBTQ com uh, community, this is the first time a transgender has been ordained as a deacon. Bishop Sally Dyke, who ordained Barclay, said, the, said of the journey to navigate the world as trans queer and a pastor means a great deal to, to me because I know personally how much a how much religion has and has been and continues to to be used for harm against the LGBTQ and other marginalized populations. Now, I want you to notice this last sentence here because this lady said that religion has been and continues to be used for harm against the LGBT community. Well, remember what Jesus said. He prophesied that this sin would be prevalent in the last days. People would accept it just like they did in the, as in the days of Lot when Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. So really the LGBT community views a pastor teaching against the sin of homosexuality as an act of aggression. However, it is the exact opposite. A pastor who has the courage to and loves someone enough to teach them the truth according to the Bible will save people from eternal damnation. A pastor is bound to teach the truth or they should teach the truth according to the word of God in order to save people's souls. However, those who hate the truth see this as an aggressive act. The Bible talks about this and the results thereof. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10 through 12, it states, And with all de deconceivableness, deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that all who might be, that they all might be damned, who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So the key point today is in light of these different articles that we're seeing in the Methodist church, some of the Baptist churches and different things. If you want to be saved, study your Bible and adhere to the teachings found within. It is our only hope of salvation in the last days. The words to eternal life are found in that book.